revoir. Ouais, ça, hein. You have reached your destination. It is open. There's the entrance. Now every one of these Suffolk County facilities has had this blessing box and it's just such a nice thing. If you're hungry and you need, you take. If you have extra, you leave for someone who needs. It's a wonderful thing. This is what we saw last time when we came here. It just opened up. All right, this is a question that Sharon asked me. There is a boat rental cabin and you need to register there if you want to go fishing. Rid our parks of debris. Report illegal dumping. If you see it, report it. And you really have to be a degenerate to be throwing garbage around in a beautiful place like this. So we all work together. Keep our eyes out for these people. Stop them. Let's see. Campfires permitted upon approval of park personnel only. Now, if you're coming to visit here, you'd be parking here in visitor parking. And looks like you must be out of here by 10 o'clock. And a very important sign for those of you who like to partake in adult beverages, you won't be doing it legally here. I'm not saying you won't be doing it here, but you won't be doing it legally. Another one of those very hard to enforce laws, I would imagine. I wouldn't want to have to enforce it. We're looking for campgrounds that are close to home. Trying to save some money on gas. We don't want to drive too far to take our RV camping this year because, quite frankly, the price of gas is restrictive. We really can't travel and spend our money where we want to, so we're just going to have to spend it close to home. We'll be back. Nice place. Visitor parking, the bike lockup. This is the registration for the campground. got our map from the really nice lady that works here. She was very friendly, showed us all around, showed us all the different campgrounds that are in the area. As always, I like to take notice of Old Glory waving in the breeze as she ought to. Looks like a brand new flag, that's nice to see. All right, there's a pavilion right here for parties. I would imagine that's something you could reserve. All right. Let's go take a tour of South Haven County Park in Brookhaven, New York. Okay. So we're going to start at the office and work our way from 1 to 100. Very pleasant people working here. Very happy to answer questions, give information. playground for the kids, a little water in the background. I believe they rent boats here. Okay. 
each site has access to water. Just looks like you get a picnic table and that's it. I don't see a fire ring anywhere. Looks like we have a couple of deer off in the distance between the two trees. Give them a second. Pull forward just a little bit more after this tree. Keep going, keep going. There's another one right there. Hey, at the bathhouses, they give you a dish washing station. So they don't want you attracting animals to your campsite by washing your dishes there. Men's restrooms and showers. I don't think I'm going to go inside. Pretty much standard stuff. No reason to walk through there. Looks clean, well kept. That's what's important. So right there is the check-in counter. Ladies' bathroom's here. This would be considered sort of like the tent section it doesn't have electric it just has water and over there is access to the lake playground pavilion and all up that way are the water electric sites and the group campsites okay here's a Suffolk county vehicle right now the lower section. Now we're gonna make the same turn at the cabin. And we're gonna go check out site 54 through 100.
site to have electric and water. camping and from what I imagine it looks like you can come here with a couple of friends with RVs and all camp at one site together. Seems like there's a lot more access to water and electricity down here. like to take a moment to recognize old Glory waving in the breeze as she ought to. I'm not sure what the other flag is. I'll have to look it up. That's a quick tour of South Haven County Park campgrounds in Brookhaven, New York. Looks very nice. Now there is access to waterfront here somewhere. That's uh, by the playground. See if there's anywhere to park over by the playground. I'll take a walk down by the water and get some pictures. All right, we're gonna go check out the waterfront. Okay, enough driving around in the car. Let me get out stretch my legs a little bit. It's a beautiful day. It's April 2nd. It's a Saturday afternoon. Sharon and I are out checking out campgrounds. We're at South Haven County Park and Campground in Brookhaven, New York. We just did the big tour around the facilities and now Sharon's going to find a place to park the truck and I'm going to come down here and have a look at the lake. The young lady at the front desk told me that you can rent boats here in the summertime. It's one of my favorite things. A moss covered ground. Nice and soft on the feet. Looks like somebody lost their socks. SOC, KS. Socks. Let's see, we got a little bit of mud here. Oh, we got some nasty swans. I've been attacked by swans in the past. I'm not crazy about them. Ducks, I don't mind. So, on the other side of this body of water is Smith Haven County Park. It's a picnic area, really nice. And you also have access to this, there's a fishing pier down the lake a bit. 
Now up in that direction over there, if you listen closely, you may hear some gunfire. Uh, that is where we found the abandoned equestrian center at Smith Haven County Park. That's over on that side of the park over there. There's all sorts of equestrian trails through these woods and there is a crossing somewhere up that way. Well, at least that's what I saw on the maps on satellite. There's the other swan over there. Water looks crystal clear and beautiful. Looks like they lost a big tree. Yeah, that was a biggie. It's a shame. There's something to note, they don't allow for swimming in the lake. I guess you can always fall out of your canoe if you really wanted to get wet. Hard to enforce. Okay, so there is a sign that says no tents in electric sites, so let's just assume that all the electric sites are RV sites. And I would imagine you could park an RV over here and, you know, boondock. At least you have water and a picnic table. Honestly, they're in pretty rough shape, but it's to be expected, I guess. It's nice, lots of nice trees, cover. Sites are pretty well spread apart. This is site number three. Now I guess the rifle range closes so that noise won't be all the time. Not a bad place for the hard of hearing, I guess. All right, let's get back to the car. Okay, jumped out of the car again. I just want to take a look at one of the electric sites. This looks like a handicapped accessible one. It's got a special table on the corner close to the pavilion here are the utilities pretty standard 30 and 50 and a 20 water got to be here too I would imagine right why am I not seeing water am I missing something ah oh, here's the water so what it looks like is that every two sites are getting one of these? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So they did mention that you need a Y adapter to go here. Not included. Can you believe that? So you need to bring a Y adapter here. Which I would imagine every convenience store within 10 miles probably sells them. So this would be the water for that site as well as that site. I don't think that's a site over there. This is site number 104. That has water access. And maybe you're not even having to share that. Right. You turned on yet? Nah. You probably turn them on when you rent them. This 
sight 104, 50, 30, and 20. Pretty standard. Okay. Well, those are the accommodations here at Smith Haven. Looks like a really nice little campground. It's not too expensive. We had to get the Suffolk Green Key in order to participate in the fun out here, which means you got to pay a little, we'll call it a membership fee, to get the Green Key. And that enables you to make your reservations on phone and get to camp out here, even if you're not a resident of Suffolk County. Because so we live in Nassau just to the west. We're a little shy of an hour east of home. It'd be perfect for RVing. Basically, we'd be paying for the camping here by saving on fuel, for not having to drive all the way upstate. Isn't that pretty? Pine cones. All right. We're gonna get back in the car, see what else we can find out here in Suffolk County for camping reservations this season. Thank you so much for coming along. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit the subscription button in the corner and give us a big thumbs up. If you are already a friend of the channel, thank you for coming back. Appreciate your support. Yeah, they're not kidding. You don't want to do that. It's a really tiny little bridge.